Well, welcome back to Crash Course. This is Sammy Chimonohihi Aliyubi with the Eagle One Development Team. And in tutorial number 32, we're going to take our environment art and uh, we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit more about how we can place environmental props down uh, responsibly as uh, we can absolutely use and abuse this spray acid tool. Uh, but before we get to that, I do want to make sure that I give us a reason for where we're going to put props down. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to uh, begin to paint a little bit of a pathway here. Okay, I'm just using the blend tool. Maybe over here there's something going on. I like this pathway over here and we can have it go back up and I'm just simply going through and uh, giving a little bit of a purpose to why or where the player is going okay now um, for right here let's just go ahead and, and make sure that's there I'm gonna keep this square like I said I've got some plans for this coming up um, but right now I like uh, that fact that we have a little bit of a path um, if I want to go ahead and uh, give this a little bit more definition we can have some foliage there I want to try to make sure that there's no hard blends so even right here uh, we can just go ahead for right now and just paint it green knowing that we're eventually going to blend this out okay and then over here same thing let's just uh, paint this into our concrete and uh, perfect we have here an environment uh, that we can go ahead and uh, begin uh, to, to structure around harder uh, let's see over here I might actually end up uh, taking this and uh, converting them over there it is and then I can just blend this part right here Ooh, there it is and now it looks a lot more seamless as uh, we just have to take some additional painting and uh, make sure that it all makes sense. All right, so we have uh, placed now some of these uh, trees and props down. So I do want to make sure I mention something. Um, if you can, try to place it down manually. Okay, so uh, if I'm going through and I'm placing it down, here I've got my sumac tree. So I just have this off to my side so that way you can uh, see everything. So I'm going to pull another one. Uh, I can pull it over here. So where it blends, if I really want to make sure that it looks like uh, the, they have a hard time seeing it, just place a couple of plants along the pathway. Um, it'll help give it some definition as well. So here, here's another reason I can go ahead and place it down. Now I'm using actually the same one over and over most people do not realize that some of these models are the same thing like this sumac one sumac 05 does a great job uh, of hiding pretty much everything so i'll just place a couple more down now you don't want to overdo it though so just kind of be cautious uh, that you uh, are going to be uh, sparingly putting these down i can put down another tree i think a tree over here would be nice as well okay and uh, i just want to make sure that i continue to give this some definition i don't want to overdo it though uh, let's see here. This one I think would go well over here. Let's pull it up. I just want to try to make sure the plant's somewhat in there. And uh, now that I have uh, something that I can go ahead and work with. Uh, second thing I want to do is um, let's use a spray acid tool. Okay, come down here. Over here, acid spray tool. I have here a variety of things that I can put in. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go to my model and I'm going to type in grass. Okay, and I'm going to go down here. This particular one, foliage, grass, weed, this is interactive. Okay, so the player can go down, touch it, it'll move around. And we'll actually talk about optimizing asset spray later um, and how you should be placing these down. If you want maximum optimization, we have an entire tutorial coming up for that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going for beauty. Okay, we just want things to look nice. You guys have worked so hard. Um, if I adjust the radius here, okay, you'll notice it changes on the left hand side um, I, I want to place grass down but I, it's very easy to overdo it okay and here's what I mean a lot of people are gonna do this they're gonna hold down left click and they're gonna start spamming it and uh, it's really easy to have a whole lot uh, uh, fast so um, I recommend when you are setting up your acid spray tool uh, set up the parameters so that when you are done you don't have a bunch of plants spammed over and over you're gonna have to really to get the maximum frame rate pick your spots uh, so one thing I like to do is I, I'm gonna come here I'm gonna change the scale I'm gonna go from a scale of let's go 1.3 to 2.0 so it's gonna randomly change how big this particular prop is and I've only got one prop here that's gonna spray down I can load up more props than I will in a little bit but for right now I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna click where I want grass okay so grass over here would look good some grass over here notice what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find spots where I know it's blended and I don't want to overdo it okay because it's very easy look if, if, if I'm uh, done and I select these I've got one two three I've got a lot that are located inside of here um, so something I can do so notice if I'm deleting them I'm deleting I'm deleting I'm deleting and they're still there that's usually not a good sign okay so what I want to do is actually let's try to optimize this a little bit more I'm just undoing everything up until the beginning 
and let's try to optimize our spray. Okay, uh, spacing and radius. This is a big one. Let's change the spacing down. So this is how far apart they're going to be placed. Minimum count should be two and maximum count should be two. Okay, and with a brush radius of 24 and a spacing of 24, every time I place it down, I should get only one or two at the most. So here you can see it's, it's, it's forcing it to space out. Okay, I can go ahead and place another one down here. Uh, I can go ahead and place another one down here. Okay, I can adjust these settings. So if I want to space it out and and have more of them more often okay just lower the spacing okay maybe 12 works out better for this there we go just go around the edges and all i'm trying to do is find spots where the player might notice hey it's it's a little bit flat there and let's just add a, a little bit of three dimension to it okay now there's a ton of things you can spray you can spray anything you can spray bottles you can spray props you can spray boxes around you know really though when it comes to foliage uh, there's a, a variety of different ways that you can go about this uh, but i just want to make sure that i go over some basic tips and tricks Ooh, see look at that there's a ton that allow us to try to get, make the most and you have to remember I, the way that the games were designed for virtual reality was to squeeze as much as you can get we're constantly trying to get 90 frames a second and uh, in order for the player to not experience any sort of sickness any sort of nausea um, otherwise what begins to happen is if you do not optimize your map in source 2 for vr the player suffers as a result and so that's the background that we come from which is why reducing end guns and being able to optimize everything that the engine likes so that way you can get the best experience has been really ultimately our goal so with the source 2 and pancake mode you could probably get away with spamming a lot more than you could if it was a vr game all right so uh we went ahead and we sprayed down uh some of these uh uh grass pieces um let's uh change it up Let, let's spray something else down uh i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna click here uh we can clear brush settings and uh, a couple of other foliage that i like let's type in fern these are fun ones all right let's load them up into the asset browser we can add this guy let's add this guy and let's add this and let's add this actually let's add them all why not add them all in here okay it's going to randomly select it uh now let's uh go ahead here and let's mess around with these settings all right let's go minimum two maximum four let's go spacing at 32 and let's change the brush size to about 64. okay now i do not want to place this on model so let me click this because what happens is when i start to place this down if i have a piece of grass here it's going to start stacking on the piece of grass so you're going to have pieces stacking on pieces so you want to make sure that when you're putting foliage down you want to have a uh, this checked off so you're not sometimes you do want on models though but for this case i don't so i'm going to come over here look i'm just going to click once it's all i need to do click once boom look at that full of life i don't need to go crazy this is enough click once click once click once and instantly we have now a bunch of life that has never existed put it up on the walls it looks great put it up here why not look at that uh, the player has no idea you know that this is all essentially randomized okay? and, and you might want to be you know more careful you might be able to, to figure out a, a better place to put these uh, but now when I look around with just a few clicks we have here an environment with a ton uh, a foliage that matches and we didn't overdo it okay now <laughs> i say that but there's still a lot that are stacked here and we could probably optimize this like i said we'll have a tutorial uh, coming up where we go through all these optimizations that can be had all right i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on uh, being able to place down nature uh, using the foliage uh, the asset spray tool uh, have some fun with it uh, go around. Uh, the best advice that I can give you is uh, continue to mix in small vegetation, large vegetation, and medium vegetation as we continue to build this process through. And oh, actually, if you look right here, oh, this is bad. Uh, we definitely don't want this. My asset spray tool accidentally got inside of here, and uh, now we have some trees and we have some stuff floating. So if this happens, that's fine. Just go ahead, select it, and delete it. So this is why it's dangerous. When you're using the asset spray tool, it can literally go everywhere spray your entire level so use it responsibly all right we'll see you guys in our next crash course video